Hi, my name is Francis Judge. Together with my wife Nadine, we lead the church in Fairland called Venture Church. I've been reflecting on this phrase, women of reverence, and have been profoundly, profoundly challenged by its meaning. And so I'd like to read a verse from Romans 13, 70, just share a few thoughts around it. Pay everyone what is owed, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, honor to whom honor is due. That's Romans 13, 7 from the NET Bible. A dictionary definition of reverence links it to honor and respect. And Paul tells us here in Romans that there are people who we owe honor and respect to, as well as people who owe us honor and respect. Yet so much of today's society is completely devoid of any kind of honor. How then can we honor God's word? How then can we be people of respect and honor? The honor that is due to and from others. So firstly, by giving what is due. So it's such a common thing for us and a natural thing as part of the, the human nature to desire what is owed to us first and foremost, but that's not the way that Jesus showed us. Hebrews 12, three says that consider him, Jesus, who endured so much opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. In other words, take Jesus's example. It says, also says that he didn't grasp his rights, even though he could have in that incredible passage in Philippians 2 and especially verse 6. And then again, Mark 10 verse 45, Jesus himself says that he didn't choose to come and to be served as he deserved, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So Jesus' choice to give rather than to insist on what was due to him actually brought greater honor and greater respect to him than his demanding of his respect. And we should follow his example. So how then do we give and show honor? How do we create this culture of honor? What does honor look like? Well, one definition that I found says that honor is the status that one has in the eyes of those whose opinion we consider to be significant. So it's an estimation and declaration of value. That value is based on our value system. In other words, what we consider to be valuable because not everybody does. And in fact, the kingdom of God, the gospel coming to us changes our values. And this is one of the big areas that it changes us in the area of giving and receiving of honor. We found God in Jesus to be incomparably valuable. And because of that, we choose to turn our personal value system, our personal world on its head, upside down, and therefore choose to give honor before, rather than demanding it. So, honor is to be given rather than to be demanded of receiving. And honor is rooted in what we value. What the world needs is a people of honor, women of reverence. So I encourage you, press into the Lord and choose to give rather than to demand what you believe is due to you.